I'm gonna show you how I built the monster PC of my dreams. And this beast can run anything you can throw at it. It all starts with the parts. We have chosen the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X, a 16 core 32 thread 5 gigahertz plus processor, along with the RTX 4090. And this is the liquid cooled MSI Supreme version. That's all going in the ASUS ProArt X670E Creator motherboard with 128 gigabytes of DDR5 6600 RAM, along with the crucial T700 one terabyte NVMe SSD. This is a Gen 5 SSD, which is really overkill for just about everything at this point, but I also wanted to future-proof this system as much as possible. And while I have built several custom water loops in the past, this time I wanted to keep it sort of simple. And so we've got a water-cooled graphics card with an AIO, and also we've got the Corsair Core Link H150i for the processor. That is a three-fan radiator, and I've also got three additional fans. And this uses the new Corsair Link system. It gets rid of half of the cable mess, so we're gonna have a good time. And of course, the ultimate creator build needs the ultimate power. So we've got here the Thermaltake Tough Power 1200 watt power supply. This supports PCI Gen 5, so we'll have that special connector for the graphics card. And I've also got an adapter down here that I'll show you that'll make the case power look even cleaner. Speaking of the case, this is the Height Y60. It's really a unique looking case, but it's a mid tower that supports both a two fan radiator and a three fan radiator. So we'll be using this, and it's also got a nice little aquarium wraparound glass type design. We've got memory, we've got processor, we've got hard drive. We can put it in the case. Which means now we can turn our attention to our power supply. So we'll want to have the fan on the outside so we can draw in some fresh air. And uh, we should probably connect our power cables first. It'll be easier outside of the case. Okay, and that just leaves us with the Gen 5. Now, there is a special slot down here for the graphics card that uh, power supply and other cables can come up through. But to get there, we've got to go in through the basement. You got your fans down here that you kind of have to work around, or you can just remove them. And since I'm going to be putting in the Corsair Link fans anyway, I'm going to just remove these guys. Next, we're ready to put our riser back in. And in this particular case, you're gonna to wanna to remove the second of the PCI covers and then just uh, move the blank back up to the top there. Which brings us to the big chungus, the RTX 4090 MSI Supreme graphics card. Comes with a bag of case screws, which is nice. And it does come with that Gen 5 PCI Express adapter, which is gonna need four PCI cables which we don't need because we have our Gen 5 cable, so we'll just need one cable to rule them all. Now, with these Gen 5 cables, it's gonna come in through the top of the graphics card, which may not look the cleanest. So I've gotten a adapter here, and this is a uh, 12VHP 600 watt adapter, and this goes in uh, 180 degree curve, so that way I can put this right here and then that way I can plug in from the bottom into there to make a cleaner look. And that brings us to the radiator. So I'm gonna be changing out these fans for the Corsair Link fans. And uh, for anyone who hasn't seen these guys, they are basically uh, fans that have special connectors on them so that you need far fewer cables. 
Well, the link system connects all of the fans, so you need one cable and then a control hub to manage everything up to 14 devices. So we're ready for our CPU cooler. So for that, in this case, we're gonna pop off the top. And then there is a bracket inside that has uh, six screws on it that we're gonna mount our radiator to and then mount the fans on the underside. So we've got one big unit here. And then be sure that you just tighten down in an X pattern. Um, that way you can apply equal mounting pressure on all sides. And then of course you just do a little bit of wiring. So the Corsair link, I've got uh, this uh, two fan radiator connected to the hub that's built in up here in the three fan. And then the three fan radiator connects back to the hub that uh, I haven't done the cable management or mounting of yet, but uh, everything else is relatively neat. So we just have that. And then I have another fan on the back end of the case, and that's connected through one wire to the other one. So we've got three, four, five, six case fans connected with two cables. That's why the Corsair Link system is pretty cool. So this monster can run any game that you can throw at it today and doesn't break a sweat. And it handles all of that video editing and the timeline like a champ, scrubbing through all of my 4K and 8K footage, no hiccups at all. And the exports used to take between eight and 10 minutes, now down to two minutes. This is truly the monster PC of my dreams and you can have it too. The parts are all linked in the PC picker down below and let me know what you want to see a video on next time. Happy learning.